Salut coders, welcome back to another YouTube tutorial and in this tutorial I want to show you how to implement user is typing and by showing the typing status on the app bar let me show you by an example say hello how are you as you can see to the to this device is showing this user is typing if I go to that user and try to type again you can see on this device is showing typing so by the end of this video you'll be able to implement the user is typing on your chat application if you are new to this channel may kindly subscribe and click the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever we upload new videos so let's get started let's add two variables on top of our message view model we want to add these two variables which is restart Add stream subscription. And this one I can call it tiny typing. Subscription. Let's import package async this one. So yeah, I will continue. Then I will, exp I will continue writing code and I explain after I'm done.
So let me explain the code right now. Here we created a timer and we use this timer. Uh, if your user is not typing for 5 seconds, we want to notify that the, to the other user that the user is no longer typing. And this is a subscription for connecting maybe a user, a gone offline network connection, anything can happen to the network. So you want to delete the reference of typing so that we don't store it like user is typing already. So I created few methods here. So this first one, it's listening if the friend is typing. So we are referencing to the typing what? To the typing child and we are referencing to here. And the child is going to be a friend user ID, which the, this is the reference of the user who is typing. So if you are typing for someone, we just store the reference in your own in your own user and in the ID of that of that someone means your friend. So here if you are listening, you are listening to your friends if he's typing to you. And if we if the value exists, we say this the user is typing. If it's not, we get the presence. If it's user is online or last seen a minute ago or what. Then we have the typing changes. So in the typing changes, if the timer is now, it means the timer is not running. So maybe the user was not typing. So what we do is to connect to the database, uh, to the database here. We want to reference to our own user. So if you are typing, we, we are putting in your current user and the user that you see that you are typing to. So the child, the first child will be the your user and the friend that you are typing to. And after doing that, we push with a true, we push something to notify the other user that there's an event that is going on, which is the typing. And after doing that, we also have the reset start timer. If the timer is now, we initialize the timer. By initializing the timer, we just say restartable the startable timer duration of five seconds when it's time times out we delete the referencing of typing so if user is continuing to typing it means in the range of five seconds the user is continuing to typing and um, we reset the timer so if the user is typing after four seconds they type again we reset it from zero to what to five then this is the deleting we delete this reference when when it's time out we delete the reference and when disconnecting uh, we delete the reference this time out we're calling the delete reference and here the timing connection listener we are connecting to firebase uh, info connected child this one will listen to the device network connection if the network is bad so we delete if the network is dis or something disconnected we delete the reference this reference then when disconnecting we just run offline so in our message screen we add in the dispose we want to disconnect it when you when you click the the user click the back button uh, we disconnect it we delete the user reference in case the timer, the timer, the runtime is not yet fired, we just delete it. And also, in here, we also create, we want to listen to the timing event. So in our text field, each time a user is typing something, we are calling this method typing changes. That's why we, I created this method. Then, in our initialize, we are calling listen friends is typing. We created this method, this one, to listen if the friends is typing with this reference. Let's run our application and test our implementation.
so let me select this user this one is online this is the user to your right and this one is to our left so let me start typing from the iPhone 14 plus the large one I can say hi as you can see here this side is showing the user is typing and I stopped typing and the record is saying it's no longer typing and I can continue to type as you can see it's showing the user is typing and I'm no longer typing if I do the same here hello you can see it's showing that this user is typing so thank you guys for watching this video i hope you are now having the understanding of implementing is user is typing or not let me turn another video if you are new to this channel may you kindly subscribe and click the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever you upload new video salut coders